If there is no sign, keep this in mind. He'll show up on time. For your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, I'm CJ. For your quick news and notes, Ruslan Provonikova knocks out Jose Re- Reynoso on Friday Night Fights in the second round. Strawweight titleist Kazuto Ioka, who unified two of the major 105-pound title belt with a victory against Japanese countryman Akira Yagashi, relinquishes WBC version of the title on Sunday. A hawk being used to patrol skies and deter pigeons from the Wimbledon Lawn Tennis Championships has been stolen, police said over the weekend. Tony Schumer raced to the number one qualifying position in top fuel on Saturday night in the Route 66 NHRA Nationals with a run of 3.763 seconds at 324.83 miles per hour. Wow. Defending world champion Caesar Stoner won the Asin TT Moto GP race on Saturday to tie on points with the championship leader. Jorge Lorenzo, but it was easy since Lorenzo crashed on the first lap. Speedway Motorsportsman Incorporated Chairman Bruton Smith said NASCAR needs to implement mandatory cautions or race stoppages to bring more excitement to the races. Denny Hamlin agreed to a contract extension with Joe Gibbs Racing. Boise State beat the midnight deadline Saturday to withdraw from the Mountain West Conference, officially keeping the Broncos on path toward Big East affiliation in college football for the fall of 2013. South Carolina Athletic Director Eric Heyman has left after seven years to guide Texas A&M's transition into the Southeastern Conference as the Aggies' new AD. Samuel Villarreal III, at the center of a large-scale marijuana case, allegedly supplied the drug to multiple players from the 2010-11 Kansas men's basketball team, a federal prosecutor said. Former Mississippi State standout Rodney Hood decided Saturday to transfer to Duke and must sit out next season under NCAA transfer rules. However, he will have three years of eligibility remaining. Central Florida basketball player Marcus Jordan, the son of retired NBA great Michael Jordan, was arrested in Omaha early Sunday morning following a disturbance outside of the downtown hotel. Jordan Hall, number one on Ohio State's depth chart at running back, will be out 10 weeks after undergoing surgery on Friday for a cut on the bottom of his right foot. Florida State running back James Wilder Jr. was released from the Leon County Jail at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning after spending more than a week behind bars. After Georgia running back Isaiah Crowell, who was arrested on weapons charges by athens Clark County Police, Georgia didn't waste any time and dismissed him from the team. Texas a and freshman quarterback Johnny Menzel was arrested in jail early Friday after he was involved in a fight and police said he produced a fake ID. Stanford linebacker Shane Scove has been reinstated to the football team and will serve a one-game suspension this season after he was arrested in jail earlier this year for driving under the influence. Pucker up for a plethora of NHL news as the Carolina Hurricanes agreed to a 10-year contract extension with center Jordan Stahl on Sunday worth $10 million. The Dallas Stars have signed free agent for Ray Whitney to a two-year $9 million contract. The Edmonton Oilers have signed Ryan Smith to a two-year $9 million contract. The Columbus Blue Jackets dealt one of his top defensemen, Mark Methot, to the Ottawa Senators on Sunday for restricted free agent winger Nick Feligno, and the club also locked up another goaltender with NHL experience in Curtis McElhenney. Forward Dustin Pinner has agreed to a one-year $3.25 million contract to remain with the Los Angeles Kings. The Florida Panthers have re-signed goaltender Scott Klinsman and brought back defenseman Flip Kuba, both on two-year deals. The Montreal Canadiens have signed former New York Rangers forward Brandon Cruz to a four-year $10 million contract. The New York Islands have agreed to terms on a one-year deal with forward Brad Bose worth $1 million. The New York Rangers have agreed to terms on a two-year deal with forward Aaron Esham worth $2 million. The Colorado Avalanche have signed free agent forward P.A. Parento to a four-year deal which sources say is worth $16 million. The Vancouver Canucks and former Panthers defenseman Jason Garrison have agreed to a six-year contract worth $27.6 million. The Pittsburgh Penguins have re-signed veteran defenseman Matt Niskanen to a two-year contract worth $4.6 million. And the Nashville Predators and Paul Gustard agreed to a four-year $13 million deal. Moving on to Major League Baseball news, the New York Yankees acquired right-handed reliever Chad Qualls from the Philadelphia Phillies. And your baseball all-star selection starters for the American League include Josh Hamilton, Mike Napoli, Adrian Beltre, Derek Jeter, Robinson Cano, Curtis Granderson, Jose Baptista, Prince Fielder, and David Ortiz. Complete the AL starters and the National League starters are Matt Kemp, Noki Cabrera, Rafael Fercal, Carlos Beltran, Dan Ugler, Joey Votto, Buster Posey, and Pablo Sandoval. Tune in next time for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a positive, productive, blessed day. And I leave you with Namaste as the divine in me salutes and honors the divine in you.